hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a corset bust cage so i'm going to be using these materials right here firstly i have my patterns that i've already drafted out from my corset pattern so if you do not know how to do that i'll be linking all my corset tutorials in the description box so that you can go ahead and check that out secondly i'm going to be making use of a regiline bone which is a type that we can easily stitch on then i have my interfacing hair i'm going to be making use of hair stay and also i have this pink fabric which is what we're going to be using and lastly i have my black lining so guys first thing i'm going ahead to do is on this black lining here as you can see i'm just placing my patterns on it and i'm just pinning it down and afterwards i'm just marking half an inch stitching allowance all the way around my pattern for me to be able to use and stitch this down so by the time you're done with this just go ahead and cut it out so the next thing i went ahead to do was to use this lining pieces to cut out on my actual fabric so this is what i had after i was done cutting it out so now what i'm going to go over to the ironing board to do is to iron my interfacing on these lining on those pieces that i have here both on the lining and on the pink fabric that i'm working with so i'll just go ahead and iron my interfacing to all the pieces and i'll be right back when you're ironing your interfacing just make sure that you're ironing it to the back of the fabric so after i was done ironing it this is what i had so for each of the pieces that i have here i actually decided to iron three layers of interfacing to each of them just to give it strength so just go ahead and do the same thing if you're working with an hair stay so the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do now is to put these lining pieces together like this ensure that the right parts are facing each other so that you don't have issues later and what i'm just going ahead to do now is to pin down this curved part of my cup here and i'll now head over to the sewing machine and stitch this area down and i'll do the same thing for these pink pieces as well so guys this is what it looks like after i was done making those stitches so as you can see i'm just making notches around my stitch and then i went ahead to iron my seam open using my tailor's ham so i'm just doing it for both the lining and the actual fabric that we are working with so guys for this boss caging we are going to be more focused on the lining piece which is this black one here so one thing i want to first of all do is to make a mark half an inch away from the sides all the way around at this point my biro was misbehaving i got another one and right now i'm just making half an inch it's about half an inch allowance just mark it all the way around the cup just like you see me doing like this so guys this is what it looks like just go ahead and do the same thing i just did on your own cup now from one part of this cup just go ahead and mark the middle of the side and from this point here i'm just going to make a straight line down to meet the other part where i already made a mark around so i'll just stop it there and i will do the same thing for this other side as well so i'm just roughly making a straight line down to meet the other side of the circle so now once you're through with this what you want to do is to come down to the other side of the cup which is this other side here and from this point you can just go ahead and come down by one and a half inch that's what i did here and i'm just marking it towards the other side as well and roughly making about one and a half inch until i get to the end of this curve so this is basically what i have it's now looking like a net it's really very easy to actually do so after doing that we are working with a regiline bone that's the one that you can stitch on i said that before i'm just going to use my bone now to measure on the middle of my cup this middle line where we join the stitches together that was the first one i did make sure that your bone does not extend past that stitching allowance that we initially marked so now we are going to head over to the sewing machine and just like you see me doing i am stitching this bone on one side first to this middle line and then i'll go ahead and stitch it to the other side as well so i will stitch it on both ends of this bone and this is what it looks like 
after i was done with this particular one and you can see that our allowance for stitching at the top is still there i start placing my bony from the top of my biro and end it at the end of the biro as well i hope you guys understand so for this second line i'm just going to go ahead and place it like this here and i will also go ahead and stitch it down on both sides so i'll do it on one side first and turn it over and stitch it on the other side just like this so this is what it looks like so i'm going to continue with this process for all the other lines and also for the ones that are going to come across which is one of the one that you see me doing right now the same process applies just go ahead and stitch it on both sides so you can see how far i've gone here i have left the one going all the way around for now I've, i'm here to do that that will be the last thing we'll do so guys for this one that is going to go around this is going to be the last part so you bring your bone and from this part here you are just going to go ahead and arrange your bone along the line that we had all the way around just like this and it's going to stop at the top of the cup so i'll go ahead and stitch it down now so i'll just place it on the sewing machine and i'm going to be arranging it with my hand as i stitch this particular one you're not going to cut it into pieces you're going to place it around the curve except at the top so as you can see me doing like this i'm just arranging it as i sew and when i get to the end i'm just going to go ahead and cut out the excess bone so guys this is what i have so far i'm going to do this other line and then i'll have one more line at the top and that will be all for this caging so i've done the one for the top and this is what it looks like so this is simply how you can go about caging your cup so you can see now i've placed the pink on it and it just sits perfectly so also i went ahead to cut out another black piece of lining and stitch it down together to use to cover this whole cup by the time we are done so we'll leave this aside first firstly what i'm going to do on this caged um cup that i have here as you can see i'm placing hemi gum all the way around the cup and after doing that i'm going to place my pink which is the actual fabric that we're working on on it like this to cover everything so now i'll place it on my tailor's ham like this and i'm going to use my steam iron to just go ahead and iron this out this is going to make the two pieces to actually gum together both of them are going to stick together because of the hemi gum in between so this is what i have right now so guys like i said earlier i went ahead to cut out another piece just um this is optional i just wanted to line the cup so that it looks nice just in case you are wondering how you can line your cup um if you finish making it like this so i'm just going to go ahead and pin down the top of this cup just like you see me doing like this and i will head over to the sewing machine and stitch this area down and make a top stitch towards the lining so guys this is what it looked like after i was done making that stitch to cover up our cage so this is how nicely it looks so i'll just pin it down here and i'm just going to go ahead and continue to arrange this cup just ensure that everything is sitting rightly pin it down before we go over to the sewing machine and join the lining and this actual cup piece together so guys i've gone ahead to stitch around the open edges and this is what it looks like so the both pieces now are together and finally this is how to create your very own boss cage so if you go ahead to use this to make a corset it's going to look something like this so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it I'll be leaving links to all of my other corset tutorials in the description box just in case you're having issues attaching this cup to your corset so just go ahead and check out all those links there are so many corset tutorials on there thank you so much for watching this video i actually hope that this is helpful to you let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye